Rick Perry is uh, getting into the race. He declared on Saturday, and so we've looked into his background on some of the policies and uh, also just flat out fun stuff in Rick Perry's life. Let's start with the fun stuff, then we'll get to the policies. Uh, it turns out Rick Perry, of course, governor of Texas, longest serving governor of Texas, longest current serving governor in the country. Right now, everybody knows this. He even sounds a lot like the former governor uh, of Texas, George W. Bush, who also, of course, became president. Uh, but apparently his history uh, is also similar. Did you know that Rick Perry was also a cheerleader in college? He was uh, part of what they called the, an, an Aggie yell leader at Texas A&M. So now when you see the pictures of his outfit, you know, you can call him anything you like, but that dude's a cheerleader. <laughs> okay, so there you have uh, my friend Rick Perry. Uh, being a yell leader in that lovely little vest that he's got. <laughs> okay, so uh, now apparently he was also um, a bit of a goofball, uh, meaning that he liked to do pranks. And I got nothing wrong with pranks. In fact, his first one I think is really funny. Apparently he spent a lot of time thinking about how he can get one of the toilets at Texas A&M to blow up. Okay, so... <laughs> He finally devised a tactic in which you can flush an M80 down a second floor toilet and it actually comes out the first floor toilet and blows up on the guy that's sitting on the toilet, okay? And he realized because the M80s had waterproof detonators, okay? And that the way that the plumbing was at A&M, it would actually flush down to the first floor. And they did it and him and his buddies say that it basically blew the guy off the seat. You know what? That sounds kind of funny. <laughs> I hope the guy didn't get, didn't get hurt, but you know I me, mean, I'm in favor of fun, I'm in favor of pranks, so it seems like he might have put a little too much time into it, but they had fun, and uh, as his friend uh, who organized it with him said, it was, quote, quite a hoot. Does sound like a hoot. Here might be an issue. He had such a hoot doing pranks like that that apparently he did not have much time for grades and for schoolwork, because here are some of his grades that are just leaked. First of all, he was on academic probation, uh, in U.S. history, he received a C. Mm. Interesting for a guy running for president. Shakespeare was a D, that is not surprising. Principle of economics, fairly important for someone running for president, D. But my favorite, he got a C in gym. How do you get a C in gym, man? <laughs> Go shag a fly ball, man. Go do something, hit a layup. C, Jesus, and Lord mercy. He got a D in veterinary anatomy, uh, which is a problem because he was an animal science major. Uh, and then furthermore, he got an F in organic chemistry and a C in animal breeding. Uh, that unfortunately is what led him to become governor because he wanted to be a veterinarian, but his grades were disastrous. So they're like, they're like, look, you got an F in <laughs> organic chemistry, let alone the veterinary Anatomy where you got the D, that's supposed to be your major. Son, the only thing you're good for is BSing people and blowing people up on toilet seats and cheerleading. Hey, you know what? You'd be a great politician. And it turned out they were kind of right.